to follow the course of a bend. In property-obsessed Britain, our homes are our most valuable possession. In tighter times, when a move is unaffordable, the best alternative is to build a back extension. For years, the trusty British builder had a monopoly on home improvements. Terry Barnes is one such builder. His family have been in the building trade for four generations, and he's been laying bricks since he was 11. At the end of the day, it's the quality and the finished product that tells whether a tradesman's done the job. And that's what people are paying for. But in the last five years, the cosy cartel of the British builder is being swamped by a rising tide from the east. One of Poland's top chocolate salesmen was Jarek Kiszelewski. But hungry for a sweeter taste of success, it was chocks away for Jarek as he set off to build a new life in the UK. When you employ Polish builders, you always get more. We're working hard. We always do our best. We put our heart to the job. So what would happen if Terry's British team and Jarek's Polish team each took on a similar job? If anybody comes over with a trowel and a level in their pocket, think they can do our standard of the world. They can't, can they? No, to jest prawidłowa kielnia do robienia jest. W Anglii takich nie ma. Who would be cheaper? Faster. Better. Just pull, pull. Oh, did you say oops? Oh my goodness. The faith I had in you at the start yes. is just going and going and going. Every year, thousands of British homeowners call in the builders. We're trusting our most valuable asset to a stranger. Whether your house turns into a dream home or a living nightmare depends entirely on who you hire. In the past five years, a new breed of builder has reached Britain from Eastern Europe, notably from Poland. It's thought that out of half a million Polish immigrants, by far the greatest number have gone into the building trade. This is a tale of two builders, one Brit, one Pole, and of two jobs from start to finish. How would they compare for cost, speed, and quality? Each was armed with a list of potential clients wanting to build a similar extension. First, they have to persuade someone to give them the job. Jarek has been working in the building trade for five years. He finds the biggest challenge as an immigrant is selling himself to prospective clients. Terry, a British bricklayer by trade, feels he can rely on his pedigree. Hello. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Mr. Hi. Tora. Hi, Terry, how are you? Hi, oh, mate. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. My name is Eric. Amazing. Ah, thank you for inviting me. Um, have you got the plans for the extensions? Yes, I have. Let me Can just I see. see that? This is what it is at the moment. And this is, this what is we, how I want it. This is what we would like. Yeah. yeah, we can help you with that. The extension is a professional's job. Right, we that's why I'm here. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We don't disappear and do something else. Like I say, I'm not a builder, I'm a bricklayer. Yeah. You know, we're bricklaying contractors. Okay. You know, so, so I've got no worries. If anybody comes to expect my work, it'll be 100% yeah. to regulations, traditional building, you know. See, that's, that, that's why I'm asking. You know, obviously, yeah. I want a reliable builder. Oh, someone yeah. Someone who yeah. will turn up on time. Yeah. Someone who won't mess me around, because you hear all these stories. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll never let you down. I'll be always honest to you. And we just, you can see steps by steps what we're doing, how we're doing. And, uh, and you can always say, Yarek. I'm not happy for that. The only time I want to come back is to say happy birthday or, you know, or, or get a check. Merry Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's it. Okay, great. Okay, nice one. 
Thank okay. you for inviting me. All right. Okay. <laughs> I appreciate it. Yarek failed to get his job and has embarked on a frenzy of pitching for work. Hello. Hello. Hello, sir. Good day, sir. My name's Yarek. My name's Chopper. Come in. My name's Yarek. Hello, Yarek. Pleased to meet you. My name is Sita. We start doing this together. Mm -hmm. We make some relationship. Yeah. We not came for the benefits. <laughs> we not came to use your energies. No, no, no. <laughs> Money. Money is not important. No. Relation. It's not important. <laughs> Relation is the most important. I don't know if this is gonna scare you, but I'll do the plumbing, electric, and carpentry by myself. <laughs> Money. Actually, no, yeah. Money is not important. Yeah. I'm a hairdresser as well. So, I can do your hair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting you clothes. Me too. Thank you very much. Be in touch. Thanks for your time. Okay. Cheers. Bye. Terry got the first job he pitched for. He's convinced it's not just the price that secures him the work. People pay me for my expertise, my knowledge, and that's what people are paying for. And there will be people 50% cheaper than me. You pay for what you get. For immigrant builders like Yarek, a cheap quote is the key to getting work, but it comes at a price. Lots of people employ Polish builders because they care about the, the money, they want to save money. And we save money working harder, working longer, and doing the project in the less amount of time. That's how I make the money. <laughs> Terry has asked homeowner Darm for a third of the money up front for materials. He's picking up £5,000 before he even picks up a shovel. Yeah, I trust him 100%. Yeah, nice gentleman. Right. So we should have a good relationship. Let's hope he does a fantastic job. Um, according to the drawing, no hidden extras or anything like that. Yeah, there's no problem at all. I might come in Sunday. Just to say hello to the neighbours and all that. Okay, that might be a good idea. Yeah. That they can buy me breakfast with you and everything. <laughs> yeah. All right then, mate. Okay, all the best. Yeah, have a good time and I'll see you again. Yeah, yeah see you very right. soon. Thanks for that. <laughs> <laughs> all done and dusted. <laughs>